Dear God, if you can hear me, you think you could do something about this um, persistent heavy contrails? They're like uh, uh, a new phenomenon, I think, you know. I mean, airplanes haven't been around forever, of course, so we don't know how long there should have been contrails had there been airplanes. But now that there is, we know that... Uh, well, it's perfectly normal in their persistent heavy contrails. Probably a result of, of, of global warming, no way, excuse me, climate change. You know, warming and cooling cycles. Caused by humans, for sure. I mean, that's a fact. Everybody knows that. People are destroying the world, and they're destroying the environment. And, and then these things come along as a result of that. They're not the cause of that. Oh, no, no. What a joke. All right, that's all I got. Burf. Burf, burf. What do you want? What are you doing out here, dogs? You too, Susie Q. Oh, you pretty girl. She's the uh, watchdog. She's the mama of these two. And there's poor Rowdy with his diabetes and his missing eye. His nickname's Lucky. <laughs> The way out, spray out. How fucking... Anyway. Fresh chemtrails for us to breathe. Who needs oxygen when you can have aluminum oxide? Hey. I really like the... Uh, the oxygen molecule attached to the ion of aluminum means that when you breathe it in, your lungs will say, Oh, oxygen, come on in, and escort that little aluminum ion right on into your bloodstream with it, like it was oxygen. That's probably why it's an aluminum oxide, so that the oxygen content is you know, accepted by the biological creatures who then in turn become filled with such particles, ions, particles, nanoparticles, and until such a time as they're fully, fully seated with them. Sorry. Come on, dogs. Come on. This way. He's blind. Gotta follow the sound. So upon being filled with nanoparticles, of conductive metals of the same size, which makes them all antennas and Hitachi smart dust that um, is GPS and Wi Fi enabled in the dust. It's, it's actually will send out a signal and receive the signal and GPS and everything. Anyway, after being fully loaded with these particles, even if you didn't get any, uh, didn't get any. Vax evacuated scenes. If you didn't evacuate the scene, I mean, it's clear my caramel out. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you get filled with particles and then you ping on the grid, so to speak. A radar could see you because you're now metallic inside, being filled with metal particles. Prior to these things, people are not that conductive, you know, they weren't that conductive, and so directed energy weapons were not that effective on living creatures unless they had a, you know, a whole lot of metals in them for some reason. So, hey, here's a way to put metal in everybody that's an antenna that sends and receives, can be made to resonate at whatever frequencies we like, thanks to our high-frequency Wi-Fi system. And like a radar or like a proximity panel, you know, because your body has a unique shape, it's a vessel, it's filled with these particles that have known frequencies, they can be all made to resonate, blah, blah, blah. It's like radar, it can see you, a panel can read you, it knows who you are walking by by your resonant signature of your body. Happy thought, huh? It's a pineapple. <laughs>